Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be trying a new concealer from Tarte. This is one that I'm really excited about because the foundation that matches it is one of my all-time favorite foundations and so I'm expecting the concealer to be just as good. I'm talking about the new Tarte C Power Flex Concealer and I can't wait to put it on and see how it performs. This is one of the concealer releases that I have been the most excited about this month because I feel like Tarte is traditionally known for having amazing Amazing concealers and they're coming out with a concealer that matches my favorite Tarte foundation so I'm super pumped anyways let's go ahead and get started <laughs> My favorite Tarte foundation that I'm talking about is this one right here. This is the Tarte C Hydroflex foundation and ever since I tried this foundation I fell in love. It has a beautiful natural finish, a stunning medium coverage. It doesn't get dry throughout the day on my super dry skin. The color match is perfect. It just looks really fantastic on my skin. It performs very well. Not enough good things I can say about this one. This is a foundation that I often want to reach for and I do apply quite a bit of it but it doesn't ever look cakey or dry or crusty none of that okay it always looks amazing my favorite way to blend it is with my Sonia Kashuk sponge it just feels like water on the skin and I absolutely love that I took my hair out of the way while I was blending because it was bothering me um, anyways, the color a little bit dark for my winter pill, but it just looks so natural. It looks just like skin. And I know the video is not about the foundation, but I wanted to remind you how amazing this foundation is, which is part of the reason I am so pumped to try this concealer. So let me get the concealer out of the box. I got the concealer in the shade Fair Light Beige, which I'm thinking is... A little too pale, but the shade that I actually wanted wasn't available anymore when I went to order this, so I'll just have to make this one work. It launches on the Tarte website February 19th. I'll probably post this video then. And check the description box if you're interested to see if it's also available at Sephora, um, because I will update that information down there. Tarte is saying this is the yoga pants of concealer. Flex your best skin with the powerful skin-loving coverage that works harder than your favorite yoga pants. It says that it has 24-hour hydration, 16-hour lung wear, 16-hour crease-proof, waterproof, sweat-proof. It's dermatologist-tested. It has a ton of big claims. It says powerful skincare meets powerful full coverage. Hydroflex technology moves with skin, so it won't cake or crease on top of it. Natural matte finish, looks like skin, feels like nothing, nourishes like an eye cream for a 24-hour hydration with antioxidants, hyaluronic acid, and niacinamide. Easy, comfy, can't mess it up. Blurs, brightens and smooth while hiding everything from dark circles and pimples to bad yoga form. Improves the look of fine lines, wrinkles, and pores. Jumbo wand for targeted all over application. No meltdowns, waterproof, crease proof, and sweat proof. Lots and lots and lots of big claims. I'm super excited about it. From blending it a little bit on the back of my hand, I can tell you that it's not what I was expecting in a very good way way. I was expecting it to be a little bit liquidy, sort of the way the foundation is, and it is not liquidy. It is actually creamy, but it feels hydrating at the same time, but it does look like it has a matte finish just the way it claimed. So I don't know, a combination of things that I am honestly very intrigued by. So let's go ahead and try it. And I'm going to try it with the brush that they sent over, which looks intriguing. I'll link it below if I can find it on one side and then on the other side I'll try it with a sponge. So let's go for it. And with the brush I'm starting to distribute it. I'm very very used to applying the concealer with a sponge so I'm not loving the brush application but it's probably me not the concealer. I'm the problem. <laughs> Am I the drama? Meh, I don't love it with a brush which is interesting because it really isn't leaving any like streaks or anything like that but I just really love applying my concealers with a sponge so the sponge is the way to go for me all right so I'm tapping it in place with the sponge now I grabbed a little more my foundation's coming off and it's not the concealer I don't think it's the concealer because 
I don't think the concealer has reached that far down. I think it's that the sponge took it off. So let's do this again. Okay, so foundation. And I now I have foundation here. A little more concealer just right there. And let's go for it on this side. There we go. I think we got it now. That had never happened before. And I always apply the foundation with this sponge. But I really don't think it was the concealer. I think it was the fact that the sponge was very clean on that side. See, now it's not... Or is it doing it a little bit? It is doing it a little bit. Huh. I feel like this concealer and this foundation might not go together as well as I thought they would go together because the concealer on the sponge makes the foundation lift a little bit. This side is like not bad at all in comparison, but that is just very interesting. Okay, I know we had some hiccups, but it looks really good. I'm going to lower the light all the way and show you. I didn't use any color corrector underneath the eye because it says it's a full coverage concealer. And the concealer is a little bit lighter than I would like it to be. So usually with concealers that are lighter than my skin, I feel like I can see my dark circles come through a little bit more. But this isn't bad at all. I definitely see the coverage. And even though it feels very, very hydrating and it is a creamier formula, it doesn't look thick at all underneath the eyes which is definitely a huge plus i was very confused for a minute there but i'm back to being excited about it i just have to figure out what works best as far as the application goes like i was thinking maybe they sell you the brush because it's the best method of application and me not being used to using a brush immediately switched over and maybe i shouldn't have done that but i am not mad about the way this looks at all i feel like it looks so natural like this would be a really perfect everyday type of look my skin definitely feels very very hydrated i didn't put any concealer on the forehead area because i'm actually going to have to wipe off my forehead makeup later because i have um my botox appointment but i do definitely still want to do a wear test so you'll see me later on throughout the day and i just will not have forehead makeup and that is okay anyways let's keep going since we are doing some natural looks i'm going to use my rare beauty bronzing stick i really love the way that this blends out so so easily and i'm just going to blend it with the sponge See, the sponge on its own doesn't really lift my makeup, so I think it was a combination of the concealer with the sponge on top of the foundation. Again, I just have to figure out how to make it work efficiently for me, but I really don't think that that's going to be a huge problem once I figure it out. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, I do like the way that things look. Now, it's been like five minutes since I finished applying the concealer. It's had time to set down. I haven't blended out any creases or anything with my finger and I wanted to show you how they are looking because honestly my under eyes look really nice as far as creases are concerned. Let me show you. I'm going to look up. I can definitely see a couple of little tiny creases but I haven't even like touched my under eyes. I usually wait for the concealer to set and then I go back and just pat it with my fingers so that anything that creased while the concealer was still wet comes down okay so see now i blended out any little creasing that there was and this is how it's looking the same way i've been doing for the rest of my concealer reviews this month i'm going to set one of my under eyes and not the other one to see if we like it better set with some powder versus not set at all and i'm going to use my pat mcgrath under eye powder okay so light all the way down again take another look this under eye i set with a little bit of powder this one is not set with powder at all and let me look up not a huge difference but i do think that the powder makes this side look smoother so let me finish my makeup and i'll be back to give you my final first impressions okay i'm back and this right here is the finished makeup nice and fresh face today i'm not going to do any eyeshadow or anything because like i said i'm going to have to wipe off my forehead makeup later so that would look weird since you last saw me i applied my dark star mascara from pat mcgrath i put on the rare beauty blush in hope on top of my bronzer i applied my charlotte tilbury lip liner in pillow top medium and my nana lip balm from westman atelier and this right here is the final look also i should mention that i applied a little bit too much of the rare beauty blush and so it got too close to the concealer so 
I slightly applied a little bit more concealer underneath the eye so that it would bring the blush down because it was like, I looked sunburned, okay? Um, so I had to apply a little bit more of the concealer. And since it wasn't much, I ended up blending it out with the brush and this is what it looks like. With whatever powder was left on the brush, I went ahead and powdered this eye again in case um, I need it to. And then this one, I left it the same way it was. So those are all of the updates. So far, first impressions. I do really like the concealer. I love that you like barely even have to set it because it really does not crease much. It feels hydrating. I really love the creamy texture of it. The concealer on the sponge taking off my foundation thing was weird, but I just have to figure out a better way to apply it. Maybe using a brush for the concealer is the best way to go. I'm not sure. That was a little strange, but it looks really flawless regardless, so I don't want that to like really affect the way I feel about it. <laughs> so far so good. If I had to rate it right now, just because of the sponge thing, I would give it a 9 out of 10. But I'll see you in a few hours and we'll talk about how it wears throughout the day. I'm back. When I started filming this video today, it was around 10 a.m. and it is now 3.31. So it's been a few hours. I had lunch, I got my Botox, my forehead doesn't have any makeup right now. I'm back to tell you about this concealer and I'm also going to take it off and I'm also going to reapply it and let me explain why. It is not looking good. Right now, not looking good at all, but I still want to give it the benefit of the doubt because I had my little mishap with the rare beauty blush and I reapplied concealer after that happened and so now I'm thinking maybe it doesn't look good because I applied too much so I'm going to wipe it off I'm going to reapply it and we are going to reassess because we still have quite a few hours in the day to do a wear test so I might come back at like 11 o'clock at night or so and we can see whether it wore better than it did the first half of the day because right now it does not look good. Let me show you. I'm going to lower the light and look up. The side that doesn't have powder looks a little bit more purple, meaning I think it wore off without the powder a little bit. Both sides do look creased, which is not a good look, and also they both look dry. But I feel like I just might have put a lot of concealer on because I was trying to fix my blush from looking crappy so I think I'm going to take everything off and I'm going to reapply my makeup and hopefully I can get it to look better for the rest of the day. So let me be right back when I get to the concealer step and we will do this again. Okay I'm back and I did everything except concealer so I already have my cream bronzer and liquid blush on and I took off my hoodie because it's like super tied to my neck and I get it full of makeup every time and it drives me crazy. So um, that's my story. Let's put on this concealer once again. I did just eye cream underneath my eye and we are just going to go for it for the second time. And this time I'm going to use the brush because I feel like this is going to be better with the brush than with the sponge since that way we won't have anything funny happen <laughs> with my foundation lifting or anything like that. So I'm just patting this brush throughout my under eye area and with my ring finger I'm going to smooth it out. And this is how things are looking since I kind of established that I do personally like it better with a powder I am going to go ahead and set both of my under eyes this time because I felt like the eye that didn't have the powder it was kind of wearing off a little bit so I'm going to set both of my under eyes <gasps> no my powder broke oh I'm gonna cry that has never happened before this is my third one of these and it's never cracked like that powdering the under eyes okay everything is reapplied and this is what the under eyes look like I think that distributing it with the brush and then just blending it out with my fingers a little bit worked a lot better than using the sponge for all of the blending process. And right now it's back to looking really good underneath my eyes. However, the first time around it didn't wear well as time went by. So 
Now that we've done it again and I didn't over apply the concealer the way I did the first time, um, hopefully it'll work better. So once again, I will see you in a few hours. Okay, I am back and it is 12 16 p.m. So it's been at least eight hours and I'm here to show you my under eyes after I applied not as much concealer as I did this morning. So let me get you a little bit closer to my face and show you. Here is what it looks like when I look up. You can definitely see that it creased. I turned the light down, I'm going to look up again. So let me give you my final thoughts on this one. I don't think it's terrible and it definitely looks a lot better now than it did this morning when I had applied way too much of it. But at the same time, I feel like it is a little bit too matte for me. I feel like I just enjoy concealers that have a lot of hydration in general and while this one does feel pretty hydrating when you first put it on, I don't feel like it stays hydrated looking throughout the day. It turns pretty matte and then on top of that, the creasing isn't like the worst I've seen because I do have lines underneath the eye that crease with like most concealers I put on. Honestly, it's like not terrible, but it also could definitely be better. If I had to rate it now, I would probably rate it like a 6.5 out of 10. It's okay, but I had very high expectations of it because I'm just so obsessed with the Hydroflex foundation, which by the way, eight hours in, you can see how good the foundation still looks. So I was expecting a concealer that I was going to fall in love with, and that is unfortunately not what happened. So 6.5 out of 10. I just wish it was better. Maybe if your skin is not as dry as mine, you'll like it a little bit more than me. I also find it not the easiest to spread out when you first put it on underneath the eyes. I had the trouble with the sponge and then even with the brush, I feel like the thickness of it makes it not move as easily as a lot of other concealers that I have in my collection. So that is that. I don't think it's terrible. I think if you have oily skin or combination skin, maybe you um, would like it a lot more than I do. But with my dry skin, it just doesn't perform the best on me. And um, it's a little bit of a disappointment because I just really love the Tarte Hydroflex foundation and I really wanted this to be like a perfect pair for it and that just did not happen. <laughs> okay, I'm done with this video. I don't know about you, but I feel like this month I've had more disappointments than I've had winners. We'll have to tally it up at the end of the month and see. But um, yeah, this concealer is just not my favorite. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please don't leave without subscribing. I love you so much and I hope to see you back in the next video. Bye.